I'm not a big fan of shaving. For one, I'm lazy. For two, I've just never found the idea of dragging a sharp object like a razor blade across the skin of my face and throat appealing. Call me wacky. Just never something I've been into. Of course, I only worry about shaving my face. Other people I know shave nearly every damned square inch of their bodies. Pretty much everything except the hair on the top of their heads. Small wonder they take so damn long in the bathroom. Today's movie is Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. It's an espionage thriller with one of the silliest sounding names in the history of movie names. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I heard it's good, but really I want to watch it just to find out why the hell it's called Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. I imagine maybe it's about four people, a tinker, a tailor, a soldier, and a spy. Not sure what a tinker is. I know what a tinkerer is, but... Hmm. We shall see. Tinker, tailor, soldier, spy. It, it, it's <laughs> such a goofy name. <coughs> it sounds like... Like a, like a children's book title. You know, like, um... um Daddy, will you read me a story? Why, yes, son. What would you like to hear? Read me Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy? Oh, yes, Daddy. That one's my favorite. Um, son, are you feeling okay? Read, Daddy. Read from the book. Children are creepy. So, Tinker Tailor Soldier Spy. Let's check it out. Well, you can do what you want. I'm going to check it out. You can you know, continue celebrating National Masturbation Month. I'll be right back. Many, many years ago, people who care about me said, Andrew, you should date. Get yourself out there, man. And at the time, eh, didn't feel like it. Had had better things to do with my life. Just, just wasn't interested. But that's the problem with people who care about you. They always try to do what's best for you, whether you want them to or not. So I got a lot of suggestions about uh, online dating sites like eHarmony. I said, eh, nothing to lose, man. Just you know, sign up, fill out the survey thing. They match you with people. You try it. Eh, what's to lose? Blah, 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 blah. So after um, weeks of badgering, badgering with love, I was at work and had absolutely nothing to do that day. So I thought, eh, whatever. And I went to eHarmony.com and I filled out their little survey, which asks you questions about yourself uh, in the hopes that they learn about you and can successfully match you with lots of different people. The survey, as I remember, is uh, quite lengthy, quite in-depth. In fact, it took me about two hours to fill out. I don't recall if that's because it's that damn long or because... I was at work, and I was doing some other stuff, so that's why it took me a while to fill out. <coughs> anyway, I fill out the survey, and I submit it. I don't recall how quick the response was. It might have been that same day, may have been days later. This was years ago. I don't remember. What I do remember is eHarmony wrote me back. See, how it's supposed to work is uh, you fill out the survey for free, and then eHarmony says, We have been able to match you with 137 different people, you lucky, lucky little boy. 
give us $50 and we'll start doing a double blind email matchup thing and you guys can chat and see if you hit it off and then go out for sushi or miniature golf. But that's not what my letter said. No, no. My letter said something along the lines of, we're sorry. Oh, man, we are so, so sorry. But Andrew, dear, sweet Andrew, we can't match you with anybody. Like, like not even one. So, keep your money. Because there's just nothing we can do for someone like, well, you. I didn't know that was a thing. I didn't know you could actually fail eHarmony.com. Now, I, uh, they say that, uh, you know, one in five people actually can't be matched with anyone, but I asked around... Not only could I find no one who was rejected from a dating site, none of them, like me, none of them knew that was even a possibility. I mean, kudos to eHarmony for saying, you know what, dude, sorry man, but we just can't, we can't in good conscience set you up with any of our clients, so keep your money. I mean, it's nice of them to care that much about their paying customers. So, eHarmony.com, keeping you away from this guy. So, I was having dinner with my friends. You know, the same friends who care about me and want to see me happy. And, and I told them about this. And uh, one of my friends, Jason, says, um, Man, uh, what did you put on the survey? I said, I nothing special, I just... They asked questions, and I answered them. And he says, well, were you honest? I said, yes, of course. And he said, that's your problem. <clears throat> Tinker, Taylor, Soldier, Spy. Uh, the name refers to four specific people in the movie. Code names, kind of. The movie is one of those I would call deliberately paced. This is not slow. No, 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 no. This moves at a clip, and if you are not paying rapt attention, you will be left behind, and the movie don't care. So, this is a movie... You have to pay attention to, or you will be completely lost. There is a lot of craft, a lot of fi <coughs> pardon, a lot of filmmaking craft on display with this movie that I very much admire. Unfortunately, the movie bored me to near tears. Now, to be clear. I don't need James Bond level, oh, run, oh, shoot things, oh, jump off the side of a building, oh, explosions. I don't need that in my spy movies. I really don't. I love stuff like that, but I also enjoy the quieter, more contemplative spy movies. I just found this one crushingly dull. So... <sighs> Hell of a lot of names in this movie. Uh, I knew Gary Oldman was in it. He, he's on the poster. Uh, John Hurt is in it. I actually just saw him in, uh, what, Snowpiercer. Um, Mark Strong is in it. Uh, uh, Tom Hardy, Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, Toby Jones, Colin Firth. A lot of cool people in this. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. 
National Masturbation Month is uh, not over yet, so I think I'll cut the video right here and celebrate it uh, the only way I know how. I'm going to go out for sushi.